you shall be king. Hello, what's up guys? This is Quickfire coming at you with the third episode in my series of Classic World of Warcraft PvP Trinkets. In this video, I will guide you through the process of getting one of the not so noticeable but yet incredibly powerful situational items, especially when it gets combined with the Skull of Impending Doom. I'm talking, of course, about the Warsong Flag Carrier's best friend, the Nifty Stopwatch. Characteristics The Nifty Stopwatch is a green uncommon item that binds on pickup, has no level requirement, although the quest line requires you to be at least level 35, and on use increases your run speed by 40% for 10 seconds. Again, especially powerful when combined with the Skull of Impending Doom, which grants you 60% run speed. So basically every class with these items has an on-demand sprint. The Nifty Stopwatch can be obtained in the northwestern part of the Badlands, located in the Eastern Kingdoms. The fastest way to get there for the Alliance would be taking the flight path to Thelsamar and riding south into the Badlands. While Horde would want to take the flight path to Kargath, then ride east towards the Questgiver. A quick heads up, the Badlands is a contested area and you can expect there to be quite a bit of PvP. How to get it? Since the Nifty Stopwatch is a level 35 to level 40 quest reward and doesn't drop from a rare spawn, it is pretty easy to obtain. To avoid unnecessary traveling, be sure to have a Frost Oil and a Gyrochronatum in your inventory as you will need them both for two quests down the line. The first quests are the Study of Elements, where you will have to collect 10 small stone shards which you can find right next to the quest giver on your left. After that, you turn in the quest and collect three large stone slabs here. And subsequently, five braces of rock binding, which are located over here. After you've turned in the last study of the elements quest, you are able to accept the coolant heads prevail, which can be easily completed with the frost oil you hopefully brought with you. After that, accept Gyro what? And instantly turn that one in as well with the Gyro Cronatum. Completing this quest will unlock the This is going to be hard questline, which basically just needs you to talk to the gnome behind Lotwell Variatus called Lucian Tusselwrench. He will give you a cog to bring back to Lotwell Variatus. He will then give you the final part of the quest chain and upon accepting it, spawn a level 45 elemental in the little summoning circle just ahead of you. Now I recommend you have a couple of pots with you if you plan on soloing him. I further suggest that you best do this quest with a buddy if you happen to be in too low level. After killing the elemental, loot Lotwell's shackles of elemental binding, return to Lotwell and you are now the proud owner of the nifty stopwatch. This baby will be useful all throughout Classic World of Warcraft and especially at level 60 PvP. Alright you guys, this wraps up episode number 3 of amazing PvP trinkets you can get in Classic World of Warcraft. This has been your boy Quickfire and if you like this video consider leaving a like, comment and if you haven't already subscribe. Also, click that notification bell to be one of the first to watch any of my new videos. Until next time my friends, be legendary.